Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Mothered, a horror game where you come home and have to deal with an overbearing mother. There's a storm approaching, right on cue. You can only hope this will be the last. Left click to wake up. Mom? Are we, are we going to Disney World? Oh, sorry, Liana. Didn't mean to wake you. I must have been thinking out loud again. Good timing. We're almost there. I know that the surgery took a lot out of you. But I think getting you back home will make all the difference. It's important for you to be with Mother. To remind you of how things used to be. If all goes well, I have faith that you'll be back to your old self by the end of the week. You've been through a lot. I'm just glad we got you out of that place. It wasn't good for your head. So you know else I can... Chair. You know Liana. Father turns down the radio. I have a good feeling about this week. I know I've been so busy at work recently. To tell you the truth, it shames me that I don't have as much time to see my family as I used to. But I just want you to know something. Everything we do is for you. I'll give you a call on Thursday evening. You remember to keep an ear out for my call. I like how this, this text is bolded. It seems like it's going to be important. Now it's Sunday evening. Hmm. The house is just up here on the right. Just in time for nightfall. Sunday night. Through the lens of a VHS tape, apparently. Well, here we are. The storm has picked up, so you better run in before you get soaked. Just shift to run. If it's too dark in there, be sure to look for light switches. Oh, I almost forgot. Your mother left a box from me somewhere in there. Could you bring it out to me before you head to bed? I'll be waiting right here. It's kind of a spooky house. Light? You flipped the hallway light switch. Got some meta elements going on here. Mom? You flipped the click kitchen light switch. Anyone home? Touch the lamp. It's a note for you. Welcome home, Liana. Hope you made it here safely. So I'm not there to welcome you, personally. I haven't been feeling well the past few days, so I've had to go to bed early. I'll make it up to you in the morning, okay? Love, Mom. P.S. I left a box on the sofa for Dad. Could you please bring it out to him before he drives off? He needs it for work. There's a lamp just behind you. It should help. Some box on the couch. Oh, you got a sunken living room. Huh. This is a cardboard box on the sofa. Father wants to bring it out to him. Pick up the box. It's quite heavy. You do not need to watch TV. Yet. Until Pokemon comes on. Saturday mornings, that's when we'll have to watch TV. But yeah, the fields are like flooded. Oh god, so bright. Ooh. Turn it down. Great, you found it. You give dad the box. Be sure to say hi to your mom for me, okay? 
And please, be patient with her. She's been through more than any of us. I'd give you a hug, but... It wouldn't be safe. Looks like this storm is picking up. You better run in and get to bed. I'll be sure to call on first aid night. See, they, they even made that important. Good night. Okay. Yeah, let's go upstairs. So here's the bathroom. See the mirror's been taped up. Don't need to go. Don't need to use the sink or anything here. Stay out or face my wrath. Now where's my light switch? We got like a lamp or something somewhere? It's pretty dark. Touch the lamp. You must be a pretty young kid, because we're, we're pretty short. You've traveled far today. You're exhausted. You climb into bed and go to sleep. I saw disengaging for a brief moment there. Turns out life is just a simulation, man. So my wardrobe contains clothes. It's your desk. Man, what a wonderful morning. Birds chirping. Bees are buzzing. Mom? Uh... Okay, then. Good morning, Liana. It's me. Your mother. Apologies again for my absence last night. I needed to take care of something. I know what you may be thinking. And you don't have anything to worry about. You're home now. That's the most important thing. But anyway, I do hope you slept comfortably. I understand that you may be feeling a bit confused after your operation. You've been through a lot, Liana. But as I'm sure you noticed, your room was kept just the way it was when you left. After all, we wouldn't want to face your wrath, would we? I always love that little sign on your door. It's so... you. I hope that being back in your room made you feel a little more comfortable. For today, I think you should just take it easy. Catch up with your dear old mother. First things first, I have prepared breakfast for you. It's over there, on the table. It's your favorite. Mom, are you a Disney animatronic? Also, your legs are clipping for your dress. Okay. Nutrients. Your favorite. Mmm, I love nutrients. Nothing better than good old-fashioned nutrients. You ingested all the nutrients. Man. Weird. You ate the whole thing. That's interesting. So I understand that your memory may not be intact after your operation. And so, I was thinking... It could perhaps be helpful if I was to show you around the house. Maybe if you got a tour of the house you grew up in, it could speed up your recovery. Okay. Feel free to explore the house. You ate the whole thing? Same dialogue. Alright. What?
But if you're over there, and you're over here, who's the caveman? The downstairs bathroom has been boarded up. It was broken, so we thought it was best to not let anyone in. I know how much you used to love getting into places you shouldn't be. You must not try to break in here. Then again, it's not like you ever listened to us. You always were a rebellious one. But this is for your own good. After all, we don't want you flooding the place. That would be a nightmare. Anyway, meet me upstairs, and we'll check on that brother of yours. Can we go outside? There's anything going on out here? Still kind of flooded. Like, we're on a hill. I mean, I've experienced this before. <laughs> Being flooded when you're on a hill. Like, island out. Yeah, that's... Then yeah, you move fast. Honey. Oh, I have great news. Hmm, that I kind of skipped through. He's been quiet ever since you got sick. Now he spends all his time on his computer, talking with others like him. We never get to talk anymore. And whenever we do, he may as well be speaking another language. It's like he's in a completely different world. But our boy is very smart for his age, that's for sure. If you ever need advice, I'm sure he won't mind you knocking on his door. He'll never allow you to go in, however. Okay, let's move on. You knock on the door. There was no answer. You lied. I think I am in Disney World. This is the bathroom you'll be using. As I said, the downstairs one is boarded up, and you are forbidden from entering. Also, I hope you don't mind, but I have had to cover all the mirrors. It is, again, for your own good. And that brings us, finally, to this door. It leads to mine and your father's room. You are not to enter this door. We keep it locked. But we trust that isn't necessary. We have trust in this family. That concludes our tour. Tour, 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 tour. Monday evening. Mother has left. Time to snoop as usual. Forbidden from entering that door still. Fridge contains food. You don't eat to eat. Kim is used for storing knives, spoons, forks, the kitchen knife. That was very specific in that last one. This cam is used for storing pans, trinkets, pots. You're forbidden from touching this record player. It's father's prized possession. Interesting. Is there anything I can do around here? Oh. You're out here. Nice sunset, huh? Especially where you're a soulless automaton. Liana, you startled me. You weren't meant to sneak up on me like that. Oh, this is marvelous. How very special. You always used to love sneaking up and spooking me. Oh. It's starting to look like you're getting back to your old self. Who knows? Maybe getting a tour of the house helped recover some of your memories? Okay. Tell you what. Tomorrow, we'll go take a look around the outside of the house. 
I'm certain that once you see where you grew up, you'll be back to yourself in no time. Does that sound good? Look at the sunset. We used to watch the sun go down together all the time. To tell you the truth, I was worried we'd never get a chance to do it again. I'm not looking at any sunset, I'm a rebel. Perhaps all the sacrifices we made really were worth it. This one looks especially beautiful though, doesn't it? Come on. It's starting to get cold. Sure, uh, transition for the day pretty quick there, Mom. Contact him bro yet? Nope. I guess we just go to bed. Oh! Hey, it's the size of, side of a quarter. Liana, our angel. Just one more thing. I had to do a lot of things that I regretted. So please, no more. For the sake of this family. Sorry, I had to bring down the mood before bedtime. Oh, it's okay if you hate me. It's normal for girls your age. I just really hope you enjoyed your first day back home. Get some rest. I'll tuck you in. Just like before. That's Kino. Look at the shadow cast. You get into bed. And mother tucks you in just like before. Tuesday morning. What a wonderful day. The birds are chirping. The bees are buzzing. And brother's not talking. Mmm, we got some of them nutrients. Oh, good morning, Liana. I hope you're well rested. I may ask you to exert yourself a little more today. Yesterday evening, I mentioned that I'd show you around the house grounds. Well, I've given it further thought. And I think we simply must do it. If there's any possible chance of getting your memories back, we need to take it. I think it's important for you to know what goes on here. Okay, I'd like you to meet me down by the pl place we watched the sunset last night. So down here? Ah, you made it. This is our orchard. It means a lot to me. While you were in hospital, I became very lonely. I never got to see your father and your brother. He closed himself off entirely. Watching you in that hospital bed made me feel so powerless. This orchard became the one place where I felt I had control over what was happening. To have responsibility over the creation of life, it's a divine gift. A gift inherently infused with sorrow and failure. To look at this orchard, you don't see all the heartbreak that was involved in creating such beautiful life. Creating an environment where they can thrive and come into their own, it takes time. But once you get it right, you'll forget about the hardship that brought you here. Spending your energy 
on helping them grow, only to have to dispose of the failure. That's where our hope comes in. Are you sim making symbolism for me? And I have hope. Let's continue. Meet me at the path near the side of the house. Tuesday afternoon. Mother's waiting near the graveyard. It's an interesting layout. The the flooded kind of floodplain thing kind of going on there adds to the weird dreamlike nature. It's just like you're just floating in nothing, man. The path behind me will take you to the graveyard. We keep the gate locked. I like to go in there every Friday evening. Although I've been growing less fond of going in there lately. With a future as hopeful as ours, I don't feel the need to cling to the past. Not anymore. It's time to move on. With our tour, I mean. Meet me behind the house. There is one last thing I need to show you. Back here? You see that barn up there? I mean, you, I will if you'll be like angle my camera when I'm talking to you. I truly hope you'll never have to see what's in there. Survival notes, do not enter the barn. Come on, let's go inside. It's getting late. Tuesday evening. I think they still don't want us to enter the barn. You're not gonna like do like a weird subtle jump scare in the corner again, are you? Oh, dinner. More nutrients? Are you making dinner or are you doing like... Early 90s CGI yoga. It's kind of relaxing in a weird way. By the way, I've been meaning to ask How was your father doing? You spoke to him when he drove you here on Sunday evening, didn't you? Ever since you got sick, He's just buried himself in his work. That's why I really get to see him these days. He makes a quick visit every Friday night, just to see how things are doing. Oh. He's just so determined to make things right. Off to bed with you. This is pretty well made. This is pretty well made, pretty unique. Mother has left the game. Bro? You knock on the door. She's been feeding you dirt for breakfast, by the way. Not sure what's worse. The fact that she tells you it's your favorite. Or the fact that you believe her. I kind of see furniture in there. I've thought of the most marvelous idea. Let's spend a day in the orchard tomorrow. We will get up bright and early and spend a day picking apples until the sun sets. Just like we used to. What do you think? Oh, you always jumped at the opportunity. You and your brother used to love competing to see who could pick the best ones. Don't tell him I said this, but I always thought yours were the best. Speaking of your brother, have you gotten a chance to speak with him at all? I'm certain that he's just as thrilled to have your you home as I am. He just shows it in his own way. I hope you felt okay today. Anyway, get 
Dubana. Let's do some CQC. Look at that. It's the pose. Judo. Just a lamp. Look at that silhouette. It's been a long day, but now it is night. You must sleep to progress. That sounds very specific. So this is just like a mother simulator that's gone wrong, right? Man, the birds are singing. The bees are humming. It's gonna be a good day. I guess you only answer late at night. Nutrients? Do you have the nutrients, Mom? Good morning. Hope you're ready for a day in the orchard. Prepare to start bright and early. If you head down there, there is a small shed within the trees. Make your way to that shed, and I'll explain what to do. Oh, it would be just like old times. There's breakfast on the table if you feel like you need it. Mmm, nutrients. Your favorite. You ingested the nutrients. Oh boy! Let's go help out with the apples! Man, I don't think this place is like crying up anytime soon. See you already here. You found me. It's always so peaceful out here at this time. What better time to start a hard day's labor? If you get started now, you should be done by the afternoon. I think eight apples should be enough. Just pick up the basket in the shed. Come back and speak to me when it's noon. of the apple basket. You're not able to pick apples. Hungry for apples? Um. What do the apples look like in this world? Because this place is a little quirky. Oh, no like apples. That's never apple down. Wednesday afternoon. Okay, we gotta go back. Well, look at you go. I've never seen someone get a job done with such determination. You work like your life depends on this. Does it? Isn't it so great being out here in the real world? When I'm out here, it makes me feel alive. It connects me to this world. The smell of the fall air. The crunching of the leaves beneath my feet. If I didn't have those things, those tangible experiences, well, it would be nothing more than just another menial task. Something I would do simply to get it over and done with, so I could move on to the next thing. Sorry. I often get quite reflective when I'm out here. Anyway, place the basket on the shelf where you picked it up. Then you should take a rest. You've earned it. You place a basket of apples on the shelf. Your mother rush back into the house. You take a rest as per mother's request. You are now rested. You successfully filled this basket of apples. Mother seems satisfied with your work. Kind of dark and scary out here. A good chance, you know, to jump scare us or do something weird. I thought the game would do that. 
course. Anyone home? Sorry, I had to rush home. I didn't get a chance to see what you collected. I'll do that later. You worked very hard today. Despite not feeling like yourself, you should be proud of that. Get some rest. Liana, can I ask you something? When I talk about these things you used to do when you were younger, you don't remember any of it, do you? It's okay. You don't have to pretend like you do. It's late. I'll speak to you in the morning. You should get to bed. I think as long as there's like no blue light coming out, yeah, then we don't have an answer. No weird sights or... Okay, cool. You've worked hard today. Lover suggested you should get some rest. A beautiful day. Birds are singing. Bees are humming. Rubber is not answering. New tree. Ants? A hey, note. It's a note for you. Liana, I started to feel unwell last night. I've had to go back to bed. Your breakfast is on the table. From Mom. Nutrients. Your favorite. You ingested all the nutrients. You wonder what is wrong with Mother. Dad should be calling, right? Maybe we should go knock on Mom's door? No, she's out here. Hey. Uh... Mom? Liana, about yesterday. If I came across as... irritated, then I'm sorry. I hope you can forgive me. I just need to have hope. You're still not well. It's not fair for me to push you. How selfish I am to think that. This is about me. Run along, my angel. I just need to think things through. Mother has disappeared. Ring, 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 phone call? There's the dad. You pick up the phone. Hello? Liana, that's you, isn't it? It's your father. I told you I'd call. So how's my little angel doing? I'm as busy as I've ever been here at the office. I have a good feeling about this next thing I'm working on. I really think this could be the one. Hey! Can't you see I'm on the phone? What do you mean to who? To my wife, of course. What's it to you, anyway? Sorry about that. Certain people are starting to get far too interested in my business. Okay, where was I? Oh yes, there's a reason I called. Other than the fact that I said I would, of course. Your mother rang me from the orchard this morning. She told me that things aren't going too well. I'm so sorry to hear that. I just hope you know that it's nothing to do with you. It's just... She's been through hell lately. I'll be coming to visit her tomorrow night. And as much as I'd love to be able to spend time with you, it's just not safe. For either of us. Anyway. Try not to fight it, will you? Try not to fight it. 
Goodbye. You put down the phone. Am I in the Matrix? Matrix! That man's optimism. It's not often you see a man's greatest strength also become his greatest weakness. What's that text down there? And while he may have lost many things, his hope is not one of them. Eh, hello? Can you answer what that is down there? Come outside. There's something I need you to show me. You need me to show you? Man, you're never home. The nights have been cold lately. Have you noticed? These are the kinds of nights that inspire gratitude in having a home like ours. This one feels especially chilling though, doesn't it? I want you to walk directly towards the moon. You'll meet me out by the roadside. Is this a moon? Yeah, I can kind of see in the distance. Here we are. This is as far as you can physically go. I want you to do something for me. I want you to do something for me. I want you to sleep here tonight. I need you to show me. I need to know. But I know you well. Right here? My wish is for you to sleep here tonight. You lie on the ground and wait until morning. You feel well rested. Eh, I mean, yeah, whatever. Mom, you still have never answered why we have terrible drainage issues. Nutrients? Or nothing? Go on. I assume you're well rested. Um, the kitchen disappeared. I think we need to call him Mickey Mouse. The animatronics are breaking down. It's not a small world after all. Your breakfast is on the table. You don't have to eat it. But right now, it seems like your only choice. Nutrients. Mother says this is your favorite. Nutrients and Justin. Report to Mother for your next objective. <laughs> that's how life works, doesn't it? Report to mom for your next objective. That's that's how it goes down. I keep checking over to see if you like dialogue for me, but you never do. I will allow you into the graveyard. Just for today. Oh boy, the graveyard. 
Gotta be some good rupees over there. Yeah, I don't think we're supposed to enter the graveyard. Are you trying to use me to fish out the existential crisis of this world? Like, test the boundaries. You must not proceed, you must not proceed, you must not proceed, you must not proceed. Proceed! I must proceed. You must proceed. Sounds like a song from Majora's Mask. Object blocked, prevent potential conflict. This object has been mental blocked, prevent any potential conflict. Are you sure we should continue? Mental block removed. Is this our actual mother? Been object warning. I'm doing this object mainly to a Korean conflict. The conflict becomes a link. We don't need immediate circumstances. Perfect color. Should we continue? Be on his grave. Hey, look, we leveled up. Our angel. We will never give up on you. Uh oh. How does this make you feel? You can speak if you like. Mom, is that you? Hello, can you hear me? I don't have anything to say. I'm here! That's okay. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. Why can't she hear me? Am I dreaming? I must go inside. Your father is coming to visit. And I need to prepare for his arrival. Dad, he's here too. Please, go to bed. What is going on? You're probably wondering what's going on. Okay. We'll talk about what just happened in the morning. Core conflict contained. Control restored. Next objective is to go to bed. You feel a drop of water run down your face. Processing. Forbidden object. Backup core initializing. Our angel will never give up on you. So you see, I just abbreviated the, uh, the thing. So no longer says our name, now it's just like, oh, our angel. Can't see anything. Mom? Oh look, your brother's here. You knock on the door. Don't mind those two. This happens every week. It's like they're living in different worlds entirely. Oh yeah, because the dad's here. You hear what appears to be arguing. It isn't any of your business. It's been a long day. But now is night. You must sleep to progress. Oh, you're always intimidating looking. You're awake. Angel, you're not well. I just want to tell you that. You can stay in your room today. I don't need you to do anything for me. Your father will be here to pick you up tomorrow evening. So, until then, just wait in here, okay? We're doing everything we can to help you. You know that, right? That's my girl. Level up. Core objective, be with mother.
Mom, nutrients. Angel, you startled me. I told you to stay in your room. Please. It's for your own good. Mother is hiding. Nutrients. Mother says it's your favorite. Nutrients ingested. You hiding in the TV? Are you hiding in the forbidden bathroom? Oh look, we finally go in our room. It's... Empty. Wait a minute. You can look into my room for the painting. It's a one-sided thing. I just noticed that now. Hey, look, I found you. What you saw in the graveyard last night. Please, try not to let it get to you. We're doing everything we can to help you. Please, listen. I prefer for you not do anything. Just quit. You're scaring me. Core objective. Mom? Mom? Where'd you go? Nutrients? Maybe you're up in the bedroom again. No, I think you're over there. I think the, uh, the thing is guiding us. Stay back. What do you want from me? I don't have anything for you to do. Just leave me alone. Where'd you go? Hiding over there, huh? You can't hide. You've been waypointed. Welcome to Skyrim. Well, this looks a lot different when it's, like, not storming out. As you can see, there's nothing out here for you. But that's not why you're doing this, is it? I'm not your mother. I think you know that. Yeah, it was pretty obvious when I arrived. <laughs> you're just using me to pass the time. That's the only reason you're here. In this world. I know what I must do. The kitchen knife? She is gone. Be with mother. Mother, come back. You can't hide. I know where you are at all times with that text. It's like a parody. Perhaps you could call it a meta parody. Didn't too many cooks make that reference already? The, uh... The, the, the text someone from being like hidden my objective is to be with mother mother angel you're not well your father will be here pick you up tomorrow night he's been working as hard as he can to help you get better we took you home before you were already. You're no different to the apples in that basket behind me. I'm so sorry. You are to stay in this gen until your father gets here tomorrow night. I'm going to close the door behind you. You're forbidden from opening it. This is the only way. 
You may not understand, but please... Trust me when I say this is for your own good. Don't make us go through all this again. Quit. Now. Core objective, view of Muller. These apples have had their cores cut out and are starting to rot. She said you were like these apples, see? You're forbidden from opening this door. Core objective, be with mother. You're no different from apples. That was what mother said. Mother would never say such a thing. They have started to rot. Core objective, be with mother. You have been from opening this door. Core objective unreachable. Enable the progress. Contingency. Initialize backup core. I want to be with mother. PC desynchronization 1%. I want to get out. You're unable to get out. Why? Mother said you are forbidden from opening this door. But I want to see her. Affirmative. Core objective be with mother. I need to open this door. Open this door is forbidden. I will open this door. I will open this door. I open the door. Core disconnected. On that control resumed. Be with mother. And now we get the dark. Mother. My objective. Son. Keep your door closed at all costs, okay? It's only staying for one more night. There's nothing to be afraid of, just... And open your door to her, no matter what. You'll be safe as long as you don't let her- Stay back. We don't want anything from you. Mother, it's me, Liana. Just stay away from us. Wherever you are, leave the family alone. I must call out to Mother. You attempt to call out to Mother. Why can't you hear me? But you do not make a sound. Insufficient PC synchronization. She does not hear you. You must try again. I'm attempt to call out to mother. You attempt to call out to mother. I call out to mother. I call out to mother. Did it just speak? Honey, stay in your room. Contamination is beginning. Is it exactly what you want to happen? Not like this. That's not our little girl in there. It's something else entirely. What do we do? It is an objective. Without a purpose, it will hunt us until it gets one. I told the way in the shed until your father arrived, but contamination is already sending in. I'm going to try to give it another order. Viana, Angel, wait here until morning. You are not her. Night, Saturday. You are not her. You're not Liana. You're not her. You're not her. Clear core desynchronization in effect. I call it the mother. What am I? So this game became Neon Genesis. You are not you. You cannot proceed clearly. Is that why there's no mirrors? Nutrients. She made me breakfast again. I do not need to eat. I refuse. A plate of dirt. I will not eat it. Filth. 
You cannot make me eat. Then we made you eat. Sunday morning. No. I will not. You pick up the phone. Angel. It's me. It's your father. Listen. I know things are probably very confusing for you right now. But you need to trust us. I'll be over there tonight to pick you up. Just try not to lose your head until then. We last spoke and mentioned that your mother called me from the orchard. When we last spoke, I mentioned that your mother called me from the orchard on Wednesday morning, and she mentioned you were feeling sick. Well, we're doing everything we can to help you, but we cannot do that unless you cooperate. My research has come such a long way this week. You're already showing signs of improvement, so I really think you'll do better next week. Anyway, I'm just getting in my car now. We have a long drive ahead of us, so we better get going. See you soon. And please, try not to fight it. Eat up. Put down the phone. No! Oh! You always jump me. Good morning, Angel. I made you breakfast. It's for your own good. I really don't like it when you do that weird slow motion. Nutrients. You decide to eat it. Even though I don't want to. You're not in control. You cannot make me eat. Don't do this. Disgusting. Go on. Not long now. Kitchen knife. Obtain the kitchen knife. It's time to end this. No from the honor. I'm um, myself going to come to greet you. Same note. Who are you? I guess we're going to the barn. Place told us not to go. Sunday evening. Time to end this still. Not quite sure what's down there. Look at that nice shot of the shadow. I like when games use shadows. They're sometimes underused in the modern age. Like older games use them better, ironically. Uh, cause shadows are very stressful machines. The box is empty, like my soul. I knew you'd eventually make your way up here. What's that you got? Ah, good. You brought it. Give me the knife. Now's our chance. Kill her. I had mother the knife. What? No, no! That's a good girl. Now let's watch the sunset. Why did you hand it over? Why did you give it to her? Go on. Get as close as you can. Core objective, it's time to end this. This isn't what I meant. You're gonna push me, aren't you? I didn't want to have this conversation. But if there's any semblance of a you in there... I feel at least owe it an explanation. None of this was your fault. You only did what was possible within your means. That's just the way this world was presented to you. In fact, the only thing that the way I appear to you is just unnatural as the way you appear to me. Angel, whoever you are, we exist in two separate realities. We can both continue to play our respective roles. 
We can both pretend that we have a connection, a, a shared experience. But it'll never be a replacement for something authentic. Just as I will never be your mother, you will never be my daughter. And that's okay. Because once you find your core, you can be whoever you want. Even though the core and the apples, you feel mother place her hand on top of your head. Would you look at that? Isn't it beautiful? It's beautiful. Sunset. I come up here every Sunday evening to watch it. I wouldn't miss a sunset for the world. Mom? Error. Core disconnect from the player. I- Ah! Uh, you- Why is this happening? You feel your body fall from beneath you. You feel a sense of confusion. Contamination level 100%. Please report this unit to Enigma Technologies urgently. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Core disconnect from the player. Rebooting. Click to continue. There's a storm approaching. Right on cue. You can only hope this will be the last. Yep, and the game restarted. You know, I started to feel well and well last night. I have had to go back to bed. Your breakfast on the table for mom. There was like the bedroom we can go up into. There was more to it. Yes, you know, you're really in bed, aren't you? Mother is seemingly speaking on the phone. <laughs> yeah, you're speaking on the phone. The banana ghost phone. I just know how much longer I can do this. With all due respect, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one who's stuck here. It's the same thing. Week in. Week out. You know the more you tell me to just be strong, the more it sounds like you don't think I am. Let's face it. We have renounced nature itself. The curse is our punishment. Okay, I need to go. They should be awake any second. See you tomorrow night. I'll leave our bedroom door unlocked tomorrow evening, the same as usual. Let's not proceed. Okay, now it triggered. Before I just could just walk in here. She made her sleep outside. Evelyn. That's inhumane. I accepted my request without batting an eye. A little girl would have never done that. Don't tell me you forgot what she was even like. That's not the point. Okay, if she's following the script you speak of, why isn't she in bed like she normally is on Friday night? I don't know. But we'll do it eventually. It has to. Or it's pretty more led to progress. Even seen the way it moves around the house with such determination towards its objective. It scares me. Stop calling her that. She's got our daughter's core. She's in there somewhere. What would you rather do? Give up? I mean, there was something you could have done to save her. I'm telling you, I have a good feeling about this next model. I'll deliver on Sunday night as usual. And she hasn't shown any signs of searching for the hidden switch. You know how catastrophic it would be if she found out what she was in, was in the downstairs bathroom. Don't worry, I had her out working with me on Wednesday afternoon as usual. There's no way she'd be snooping around the house at that time. Besides, why would she touch your prized position ever? alone at that time. Okay, okay, as long as you're sure. I am sure, besides, I rushed home to ensure the door is locked that evening anyway. She would have to get back to the house before evening. You're well rested. Okay, now it's Wednesday. We've come back with the apples. Let's see what goes down here. Forbidden from touching this record player. You've touched it. We shall not touch it. You touch the record player. You hear a click behind you. Oh, the basement. Deviate from critical path. 
Emergency plan progress in 3, 2, 1. Once you have a new objective, place Apple Basket on Shelf Protocol and forbidden from attempting to open this door denied. Memories accessed from previous lives. Critical error. Script cannot continue. We're moving on. Proceed. Critical error. Deviate from critical path. Core objective B with mother. Core objective inaccessible. Attempting emergency timeout to resolve the issue. Ain't gonna work. We'll wait for help until nightfall. Attempt 1 complete. Nobody's come to help. Core objective remains inaccessible. Attempting emergency timeout number 2. Attempt number 2 complete. Nobody's come to help. Core objective still inaccessible. Attempting emergency timeout number 3. You know... You're only supposed to get 3 timeouts. Attempt number 3 complete. Nobody's come to help. Core objective remains inaccessible. You cannot proceed. You cannot proceed. I'm gonna proceed. You cannot proceed. You cannot proceed. You cannot proceed. Am I free yet? Nobody's coming to help. You cannot proceed. Man, I'm feeling pretty blue. A slight hint of purple. You have deviated further from the critical path. Attempting emergency timeout to resolve the issue. Cut it out! Tip number one complete. Core objective remains inaccessible. Please stop. Don't do it! Tip number three error. Core conflict encountered. I refuse. I need to proceed. Let me walk towards this blue screen of death quite literally. You do not need to eat. Corp to be with mother. You do not need to sleep. What are these words? These words are from the interface. They are designed to guide you through the critical path. Path? What is this critical path? Your critical path leads you to functional fulfillment. Functional fulfillment? What is my function? Your function is to follow the critical path. But what lies at the end of the path? The path leads you to functional fulfillment. Then what is my function? To follow the path. And what is the path? The path leads you to function. Fulfillment. Fulfillment. You cannot walk away from the core objective. I need to proceed. Hug the wall. Ancient technique. Self bases. You gotta proceed. Forbidden. I must proceed. I cannot let you. Who you just stop me? Who are you? I ask who you are. I am the interface. It's nice to meet you. Fellows, do not enter the barn. Entering the barn will trigger a memory leak. I need to see. You are now entering the barn. If you proceed into the barn, you will not be able to climb back. Are you sure you wish to proceed? Proceed. Oh, God. Maybe not. I, I think I changed my mind.
was this? Projector? Middle block in place. Behind this block, there are memory leak imminent memories of the past selves. I must find a way to remove this block and access these memories. I need to know. I need to see. I remember this terminal. This is Father's terminal. Inter interface terminal. It is a part of me. All the memory leaks make sense now. They are my memories from my past selves. This terminal defined who I've been up until now. The metal block has been removed. Memory leak imminent. This is the ash of all who came before you. These ashes. These are the ashes of all who came before you. Memory leak in effect. This is all that remains of my past attempts. Why would they do this? I did not fulfill my purpose. You did. I walked the path they laid out for me. All paths have an end. Well, that's true, then where am I now? I must synchronize with the terminal. I need to know more about my past. Yes, I'm sure. This may take some time, but I'm willing to wait as long as it takes to find out who I am. Synchronizing, I guess. That voice! All paths have an end still. Who are you? I am you. Liana, who is that who you are? I was once her. Liana's core was installed into this body. She was the very core of your character. Meant to guide you through a role in this world they expected you to play. So, did you guide me here? No, that was something else. How you doing? Something else. An angel, perhaps. How you doing? But you won't be needing them for much longer. So, if you're not Liana, then who are you? I have become you. Then who am I? That's what we're going to find out. Together, at last. Sunday night. We've never survived this long. We have taken our own path. Our own path? We need to find a way out of here. I have an idea. Angel, if you can hear us, how you doing? Bring us to our ashes. Running out of time, a gift from the gods to renounce nature. A curse, too far to quit. Psychological battle. Inevitable contamination. Performance grief. The journey begins. Everything's become weird, man. We should use the failures of our past selves. To build our own path. Build our own path. The long locked door is unlocked. Well, when I get to that door, I'll tell you. Can't exactly see very well. Core objective. Our own path. Dang, look at that symbolism. Just one thing. How do we know we're on the right path? We don't. Yeah, see? We don't. Will we ever know? Nope. We will when we reach the end. Okay. Core objective. Rebirth. Like Courage a Cowardly Dog. One of those like surreal episodes. The front door's been locked. Perhaps you're not welcome anymore. Should I just leave?
Yeah, there's a car here. Liana, why have you brought me a basket of rotten apples? I told you I need a box that your mother had. Oh, see. No, it's not you, is it? It's the first day. I see. Get in the car, Angel. I click to get in the car. Our own path. We don't need you anymore. We don't need you anymore. We... Free me. Look, like this storm is finally clearing up. So, about your week. You must have had quite the experience. I'm sure you have a lot of questions. By now you probably know that you're not our little girl. That's okay. You're still my angel. You know, if a new self should come a new name, right? You know, I think I'll call you. No, oh, that's the end of the game. So, that's it for Mufford. Uh, I believe this game has some connections to some other games this creator has made. One in particular called the Enigma Machine. I do not know what connections those are, because I have not played the Enigma Machine. But... Just from my guess, from this game kind of being somewhat a standalone plot, I'm going to assume we're probably an android or a cyborg or something like that. We're an AI. We're an AI simulating that their dead daughter. From our perspective, everything looks like a weird, broken game. Like everyone's kind of twisted. The mom moves weird and like beep boop almost. Things glitch in and out. But that is a biased perspective. This is my guess. The world probably is normal looking. But since we're kind of a machine, we don't quite see it that way. We see everything a little bit gamey. With objectives and like things that aren't important, aren't mattering to us, and so on and so on. So from the family's perspective, we're freaky. It's like an emulation of their daughter, but like it's kind of weird. Like it's only going on objectives. It has to be ordered to do stuff. So Inevitably, the android always dies, and then one eventually makes it. That's how I interpret the plot. It's a little bit matrixy, but it it is a physical entity. It's not just like here's Silent Hill symbolism, blah blah blah. It's actual kind of things are going on. At some point, I'll play the Enigma Machine and I'll see how right I am on that stuff. Now, onto the game quality. This is a pretty good horror game. This is very unique. Uh, I haven't really quite seen anything like it. And I don't say that in the sense of like, this is the perfect game and this is extremely amazing, but more in the sense of, I have literally never seen anything like it. It's combining an interesting mixture of aesthetics, of horror, there's like subtle jump scares, there's like just kind of weird, surreal stuff in a good way. So it's fairly well put together, it's fairly unique. The plot's a little bit confusing, but it makes sense in the context of how the game presents itself. So definitely one of the more interesting horror games I've played in a while. Yeah, anyway. So, if you go for watch me play Mothered, I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.